morning, Sarah. Good morning, Abbas. Hi, Miss. Hi. How's everybody? Okay. okay we're just going to wait for a couple of minutes for the rest to join. Uh, today we're going to take, um, we, we're going to learn a different theme in uh, the topic of human values, okay? Sarah, have you finished the, uh, the writing? Did you manage to finish the, the narrative writing that we started in class? Okay, we'll talk about that today. <clears throat> Does anyone have uh, any questions for me concerning the curriculum, the needs, anything? that might be helpful because while you're at home, you can be working on important things. Good morning, Hadi. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, I'll start in one minute. Hadi, is there a question you wanted to ask me about the worksheets or the curriculum? No, not really. Okay. Okay, I just want you guys to know that um, the two books I sent, the final copies, are or include everything you need to study for your official exam. Okay, you have to, uh, you know, study the two books, the grammar one and the reading comprehension one, and it includes all the writing samples. And of course, the worksheets were, uh, were taking. I'm just going to send a message to the group for people to join because I need to. Good morning, Maria. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What about you? I'm fine too. I'm just sending a message and I will start the, the lesson in one minute. Okay, okay. I'm gonna keep you waiting. So today, uh, the concept I talked to you earlier about, uh, we're going to talk about it. It's called tolerance. Okay. Uh, have you heard this word before? Yes. Okay. What, what does it mean? I think it means like, um, um, working okay uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna explain it uh, good morning kalam okay 
Tolerance is, uh, is a term related to human values. It is a very important human value. And I want you to keep that in mind when you are writing an essay or when you have a test, either in the official exam or the final test related to tolerance. Okay, uh, let me give you the definition. Tolerance means accepting differences in others. We are all different. Okay, in, in many ways, in several ways. Okay, when you are a tolerant person or when you practice tolerance, it means that you accept those differences. Okay, can anyone give me an example of that? Uh, Callum, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Okay, yeah. Great. So um, would you please redefine what tolerance means? For example, uh, tolerance is like accepting differences in other people. Okay. No, no, no matter the, uh, let's say, for example, skin color, gender, whatever. Exactly. Okay. So whether a person uh, shares your skin color or shares your opinion or language or your religion, or that person is maybe disabled, does not have the same abilities as you do. Okay. Um, you have to practice tolerance. You have to accept that person, okay? What happens if we do not practice tolerance, Maria? What happens if we are not tolerant people? Racism. Maria? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, Maria. Uh, uh, uh. There will, there will not be a good conversation with the yes with the partner or the people I'm talking with. Exactly. So again, to uh, to just uh, rephrase what we said because people are just joining right now. Good morning, everyone. Please, for next time, for tomorrow, you have to you have to uh, think that you are in school. So you have. Good morning, to, Miss. Good morning, Jad. How are you? Uh, we have to join uh, at eight, please, okay? What is tolerance? We were saying that because I don't want you to miss out on that concept. This is very popular on official exams, very popular. So what is tolerance? Uh, Sarah, would you explain this for those who just joined? What is tolerance? Uh, tolerance means accepting differences in others. Accepting differences in others. We are all different in one way or another. We have so many differences, yet we have to accept each other. Okay, um, Hadi, why don't you read the examples, please? Oh, sure. Tolerance means accepting differences in others. Examples, person, person who has a disability, or a person who can't understand your language, or a person who is uh, of, different, of a different color, or it could be a person who doesn't share your views and open opinions. Exactly, okay, so you have to accept that difference and you have to uh, respect those differences in others. There could be also differences in gender, as Kalam said, you know, uh, you have to treat both genders, both males and females equal equally. They both have the same human rights and you will uh, learn this uh, next year in grade 10. How do we use tolerance in a sentence? Okay, tolerance is a noun. Uh, please read, Jad, tolerance. Yes, um, tolerance, uh, noun. Yes. We should all practice tolerance in order to live peacefully. Okay, can you give me a sentence of your own using tolerance as it is, as a noun? Um, tolerance um, is the main thing to do in life. Okay. Um, okay, you have a correct sentence. How about saying tolerance is an important human value? Yes, can I say mm -hmm. that? Yes, Lana? Uh, he has a sense of humor plus tolerance and uh, patience. Okay, so 
a very good, Lana. Tolerance is an important human values. It's one of the values. Can you, Lana, give me some values we learned about, human values we learned about? There's tolerance, what else? For tolerance? No, no, uh, other human. Tolerance is a human value. It is one mm -hmm. of the rules we should live by. But what other human values did we learn about? Abbas, can you tell me about a human value? Can you give me an example of a human value? Yeah. What's the question? Because uh, I didn't understand it. Okay, can you give me an example of a human value? Tolerance is oh, a friendship. loyalty. Uh, Abbas, what did you say? Loyalty. Loyalty. Like friendship. Friendship, uh, love, respect, cooperation. Sharing. Sharing, exactly. Tolerance is one of those. Okay, why is it a good idea to have tolerance in society? Kalam, why is it a good idea? Well, if we do accept, let's say, uh, others based on whatever, then we will have less fights in general. We have less conflict. Less conflict, let, less fights, less wars. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Adam, the next um, variant of the word tolerance is tolerant, if I'm talking about it as an adjective. Okay, can you, can you read that, please? Can you read that sentence? Uh... A tolerant person accepts the different opinions of others, even if they are different from his or her own. Exactly. So uh, mm. when you are speaking of a person as having tolerance, we say that person is tolerant. Okay, that's the adjective. And finally, the verb form, Noor. Okay, Hadi, the verb form of tolerance. If we tolerate each other's differences, society will be more graceful, peaceful, sorry, a, a peaceful place. Peaceful place. Okay, can you put the word tolerate in another sentence of your own? We should always tolerate uh, others. Mm -hmm. We or um, we should always tolerate others so we could respect and be respected. Okay, okay, that's good. Jad, can you put tolerate as a verb in a sentence? Yes. Um, uh, uh, it's okay. Okay, let me give you a situation. A person has a different opinion than yours. Okay, give me a sentence using tolerate, the verb. Okay. Um, I tolerate. Okay, I tolerate. Um... <clears throat> he is tolerates of those who disagree with him. Okay, he tolerates those who disagree with him. He tolerates them. Mm -hmm. Or he is tolerant, if you want to use the adjective, of people who... Disagree. Yes, tolerant. Okay, good. The coach did not tolerate the huge loss from his team. So he reprimanded them. Okay, so what's the opposite of tolerance? We just add the prefix in. Intolerance. Okay, um, Abbas, do you, would you please read the definition for intolerance? Oh, okay, intolerance. It is the complete opposite of tolerance. It means not being able to accept differences in others. Mm -hmm. Would you read the sentence? Mm -hmm. Intolerance leads to conflict and war and war in society. Okay. Can anyone put that in a sentence? Intolerance? It's a noun. 
Can you put that in a sentence of this? Or give me an example of intolerance. Hmm. Sarah, can you give me intolerance in a sentence? Yes. Anyone? Intolerance is so important in the, in the human values for not uh, and, uh, accepting differences in others. Is it important? Is it good to have intolerance? Is it good? No. no. So it, it okay. Intolerance, as I said, could lead to problems in society, okay? You can use it as a verb, or if you can use it as an adjective. If you are an intolerant person, okay, you will have fights with others, intolerant, okay? Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna send a quick link to Mentimeter. And I want you guys to answer those two very simple questions. Both of them are uh, multiple choice. Okay, I sent the link. Would you please uh, answer the two questions? Okay. Okay, this is tolerance, not intolerance. Come on, I have 10 students. Come on, guys. I cannot only have two answers for something so simple. You guys have official exams. This is an indicator. I need eight more answers, please. What does tolerance mean? I just explained it and re-explained it. I need answers. Okay. Mariam, have you answered? Yes. Okay, Sarah, have you answered? No, miss, not yet. The choice is my brain. Okay, but, but they're showing for everybody else. Okay, I have five answers. I want five more. Come on, <laughs> Noor, Adam, Jad, Abbas, Yasmina, come on. It's a simple. It's a simple question. Miss, I just I've answered. answered. Okay. okay. Yes, Mina, what were you saying? Uh, I answered it. You answered, okay. So mm -hmm. who didn't? Hadi, did you answer? Kalam, Lana? Yes. I did answer, I did. Okay. So who didn't? I have four <laughs> students who didn't. Come on, guys. Okay, so the answer is, I cannot waste any more time on this. It's very simple. The answer is what, Kalam? The answer is accepting differences in others. Accepting differences in others. This is wrong. 
unable to understand the opinions of others is intolerance. Okay, tolerance means accepting differences in others, where that, whether that person is of, of a different color, speaks a different no. language, has different opinions, you have to accept their differences. This is what tolerance is, and it's a very important human value. In societies where there are many wars and conflicts, wars happen, conflicts happen because People do not practice tolerance. People do not tolerate each other. Okay? And we suffered our share of this in, uh, in this country. Okay? So this is what this term means. Now let's move on to the second question, also a multiple choice. The opposite of tolerance, I said, was what? What was the opposite of tolerance, Shad? Intolerance. Exactly. Now, uh, which of the following is an example of intolerance? Choose the correct answer, please. Uh, let me uh, present it. Tell me if you're having uh, problems viewing the question. Okay, mm -hmm. so nine more answers, come on, this is easy. Um, Miss, I didn't see the question. You still can't see it? Who still can't see it? I'm resending the link, okay? Just uh, try to access it now and see whether that works. Okay, the question is, which of the following is an example of intolerance? Lana, have you answered? Uh, who answered? Just uh, yes, I answered. Okay. I answered. Okay. Miss, it didn't appear in my charts. Not. Okay. Same, miss. You too? How come? Yes. Okay, how come some of you can see it and others cannot? Okay, let's uh, let's answer this orally. Um, Yasmina, which of the following is an example of intolerance? Can you see the screen? Miss, uh, I can only see the screen of uh, the meaning of tolerance. Okay. That's weird. It's still here. Same. Okay, who can see this screen? Which of the following is an example of intolerance? Miss, I know I can see the meaning of uh, intolerance. Okay. Sound bus, mafia, yes. The yeah, same. Okay. Uh, no problem. My question is, which of the following is an example of intolerance? Listening to a person's point of view without interrupting, is that an example of intolerance, Shad? If you're listening to a person's point of view without interrupting? No. Okay. Arguing with someone loudly because they do not share your opinion in sports, is that an example of intolerance? Yes. Yes, it is, okay. So number two, uh, the second choice is the correct answer. Trying to understand why a person behaved that way, the way they did, Abbas. Trying to understand why a person behaved the way they did. Is that an example of intolerance? Mm -hmm. That is the sentence again to, okay, I always understand second time. Okay, trying to understand why a person behaved that way. You're trying to put yourself in the other person's place. Is that intolerance? Tolerance. That's tolerance, exactly. So this is not an example of intolerance. The correct answer is arguing with someone loudly just because they do not share your opinion in sports. Is this clear, guys? 
tolerance, yes. in, in tolerance. And you have to remember tolerance is a very important human value. It means we accept each other, we accept each other's differences, and without practicing tolerance, societies will go to wars and conflict. And if you're talking about, uh, for example, friends, if you do not tolerate or peers, if you don't do not to tolerate each other, there will be issues, there will be conflicts among you. Okay, now this leads us to our next worksheet. Okay, uh, this was uh, supposed to be, we we're supposed to begin with it at school um, today. It's called Tough as Daisy. Okay, uh, so let's start reading, Sarah. Let's start reading about Daisy and always begin with the blurb. Um, yes, uh, read the following text about the challenges faced by a young female. Um, wrestler. Wrestler as uh, she struggles to prove herself. Then answer the, the questions that follow. Okay, what's a wrestler? What is wrestling? Who can tell me what wrestling is? What kind of a sport is it? No one knows what wrestling is? I doubt. Kalam, can you explain to us what wrestling is? It's more of like a, a more physical combat sport. Yes, it's a combat like sport. Which is links, things like uh, clenching, fighting, throwing, all that. Yes, exactly. You see that in the Olympics. You see that in, uh, in sports channel wrestling. Okay, It's combat between two people. However, it's civilized combat. The, the purpose is not to hurt each other. It's just a civilized combat. Okay, That's wrestling. But what's the problem with being a female wrestler? Jed? What, why do you think Daisy, before we read, why do you think Daisy is a challenge? Mm. Um, what's the challenge about uh, the wrestler? Yes, well, she was a female wrestler. Why do you think she faced it? Why do you think she was going through problems as a female wrestler? Um, it's because people judge. People judge. And she is a female. Female. Exactly. Yes. And supposedly wrestling is like a fighting. It's a combat. Mm. It belongs, okay, according to some people, it, it's like a, a man. Yes, exactly. So let's see. Let's read about Daisy's challenges. Would you please read paragraph one, Yasmina? Lana, paragraph one, please. Okay, I'll read paragraph one. The sign on the YMCA door says wrestling tournament today. A tournament is a competition. I enter the gym. Okay, she's speaking. She's the narrator. I enter the gym and take a deep breath. It smells like old sweat sock and the detergents they use to wash the wrestling mats. Okay, let me just admit the student. I love that smell, weird, huh? not to me. I was raised around wrestling. My older brothers wrestled for the high school team. Dad wrestled in college, so it was natural for me to want to wrestle. Except for one thing, I'm a girl. I even have a girly name, Daisy. Okay, so she, her name is Daisy and she's a wrestler. Many people couldn't uh, you know, process that. Okay, paragraph two. Um, Abbas, would you please read? My dad has always said, pound for pound, no one's as tall as this. Oh, I see my family in the stands. 
Tough means strong. Pound for pound, no one's as tough as Daisy. Continue? Yes, please. Okay. Also, I wave to them and smile. I am nervous and I taste something vile in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I look around. Lots of boys are on the mat. Lou singing. Mm -hmm. uh, I am on... I am I am the only girl at the sign up desk. As I approach the desk to have my name written down, I see some of the boys point at me and, and laugh. Well, see about that. I think to myself as I pull my shoulders back and try to steady my nerves. Okay, Abbas, why do you there. think the boys were laughing at her? Okay. Okay, some of the boys point at her and laugh because they Okay, first of all, she's a girl. And yes. what is she going to do right now? Because she she was the only girl. Okay. At the sign up desk. Yes, she was the only girl, and there, there were the boys laughing at her. She thinks she's going to win over us, okay? And how did she behave? Was she intimidated? Well, was she scared? Well, she thought to herself as she pulled the, her shoulders back and tried to steady her nerves. Okay, so she said, we'll see about that. It means that she's confident. Okay, she's not uh, intimidated. She's not scared. Mariam, paragraph three. Okay. Uh, back in Ohio, people call yeah, used to see. Ohio is a state in the U.S. Yes. A place in the U.S. Back in Ohio. Okay. Okay. People got used to seeing me uh, still. I kept showing uh, up and I kept winning, so they stopped pointing and starting che cheering. Mm -hmm. uh, then we moved to California. Mm -hmm. Now uh, now I'm weird again. Uh, the man says name uh, and jerks me out of my trip down memory lane. Uh, Daisy, I'm, uh, I'm C. Jill, okay. I fly. Okay, okay. When you see MC in a family name, just like McDonald's, McGill, McDonald's, okay, that could be part of it. Yes. A family name. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I reply and wait for whatever comment he will throw at me. Mm -hmm. Have you wrestled before, honey? Uh, he didn't call any of the boys honey. And nor did he use uh, that uh, frustratingly con Con, con this yes mm -hmm. <laughs> don't avoid with them okay you're not a I am when uh, when a person speaks to another person in a condescending way it means means they speak down to them they do not uh, respect them okay why, yes. why was she annoyed why do you think she was annoyed that he called her honey uh, because he no, no, uh, Did he call any of the boys honey? No. Okay. No. And how did she feel when he called her honey? Uh, that he jerks her and... Yes, that he's, he's judging her. Okay, now this person at the desk, is he a tolerant person? Sarah, is this person a tolerant one? Uh, no. No. Why? Why do, do you think he's not tolerant? Because, because he was making fun of hard work or something like that. Okay, what did he not tolerate in Daisy? What did he not accept? Her work. Her work because she is what? It's not a, a girl. Sport. She's a girl. It's a sport. She's still, by the way, she's a teenager. He did not accept 
a teenage girl wrestler. She's like 12 or 13 here. She's very young, okay? He did not tolerate a girl being a wrestler, a fighter, okay? Practicing the sport of fighting. So he was intolerant towards that. And he used a condescending tone. You will take this next year in 10th grade. When you speak to a person with a condescending way, you speak down to them as if they are lower than you are, okay? Okay, you're not addressing a baby, honey. Yes, sir, I answer through clenched teeth. She's tense. I hand him the registration form and he writes my name down as he shakes his head. Okay, he then says, climb on the scale. I weigh 70 pounds. Oh, she's very light. After he writes the number on the back of my head, hand, I head to the girl's locker room to change. Okay, next paragraph. Next paragraph, uh, who would like to read? Let me just, uh, Kellam, would you please uh, read the next paragraph? Let me just display the screen. Okay, it's like, um, I'm, there we go. First match, the kid looks strong. He looks me up and down. That's okay. Boys and muscles always underestimate me. He'll get the surprise of his life. I smile inside. I snap the chin strap on my headgear. The ref calls us to the middle of the map. We shake hands, and after the kid, the mother, I can't believe I have to wrestle a girl, the whistle blows, and I hit him fast with a fireman's carry. He's on his back in three seconds. The ref's hand slaps the map. Pinned, one match down. Okay, good, Kalam. What can you tell about Daisy? A personality trait you can tell about Daisy, Kalam. I was just very confident. Okay, why did you say that? Because like um she, she I guess like she um always like uh I guess she got used to being underestimated that she always like gives a surprise and she knows that she'll win. Okay, she says he will get the surprise of his life. She knows she's going to win. Okay, now uh, concerning the boy, what can you say concerning the boy here? Um Jet, concerning the boy who is fighting. Is he tolerant? The boy? Mm -hmm. um, if you read the first, uh, the first line and the second line. Uh, in paragraph one? In paragraph four. We're in paragraph four. Is he tolerant? No. He says, she says, he looks me up and down. Boys will no. always underestimate me. No. Is that a sign of tolerance? Is he tolerant? Yes. They are tolerant? He's tolerant. He's tolerant because he underestimates her because she's a girl? Is that a sign? No, he's not. He's uh, intolerant. Uh, no. Yes. Intolerant. Jad, who won in this fight in paragraph four? The, the girl. The girl won. Okay, finally, paragraph five. The kid refuses to shake hands. Another sign of what? Intolerance. He refuses to shake hands. He doesn't even have good sportsmanship, which is a, a very important human value. When you lose, whether you lose or you win, you shake hands, okay? The ref raises my right arm. He tells me, beautiful takedown. There's a lot of whispering going on. I hear one kid say, man, she pinned him fast. No girl is going to beat me. My family cheers wildly for me, and I feel so good that my grim grin beams at them. Grin is a smile. It always takes me one match for the butterflies in my stomach to settle down. Now I feel like myself again. They call my number for the next match and, peop and people in the crowd around the mat to get a look at Bizarro Wrestler Girl. What does that mean? People, people view her as bizarre. What does that mean? What's the synonym for the word bizarre? A female 